welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. We have a Zara haul today. I feel like it's long overdue. I feel like, I don't know why, I just haven't found some key pieces that I have loved from Zara for the longest time. Now, I don't have loads to share with you today, but I do have a good, like, amount of like capsule finds. I've got a few things that are a little bit out of my comfort zone. So we're gonna try them on together. I'm gonna to show you what they look like on and tell you the prices and everything. I will leave links or the codes to everything down below. And yeah, without further ado, make sure you are cozy, you're relaxed, you're comfy, your feet are up, your candles are lit. We've got Melfi Lemon, the new white company scent burning in the background. So it's smelling all spring-like in here. We've even got my spring dress on. First time I put a dress on this year, I think. And yeah, it's this is old Zara. Got this last year. I just really like the colour of it for spring with long sleeves. So yes, um, get comfy, relax. Let's jump into the video. So we just have Zara fashion today. No homeware finds. Let me know if you prefer. Sorry, that was a bit loud. Just a row of the box over there. Let me know if you prefer it when I do include a few homeware finds as well, or if you prefer them to just be fashion finds. So I'm going to start with a couple of key basic items. Kind of boring, but very essential. So I got these two strappy tops, just very plain and simple kind of spaghetti straps, but you know that like really stretchy material. So I've got a basic white one and also a black. I got these in a medium. They were only $8.99 each. And what I really liked about them as well, especially the white one, is the fact that you might be able to see that the front kind of panel section is double lined. So you can go braless with the these, because obviously the spaghetti straps, you would have your straps on show if you didn't have like a strapless bra on. Um, so yeah, I just like these as a good staple basic to pair with like wide leg linen trousers, wide leg smart trousers, um, jeans even, denim shorts when it gets really hot. So just a good little basic to have. And I thought for $8.99 for the quality, I was really impressed with those. So yes, picked those two up. They did them in a nude as well this is it just a nude maybe a pink as well then next up again another staple classic for heading into the spring summer months the warmer months when you're wanting a trouser these are like a rustic straight leg trouser when i say rustic the actual material of them it's not linen but it's kind of a rustic slightly thicker than linen kind of finish and i just really like the kind of tailored design to these on the front, they've got a little tortoiseshell button and little kind of tortoiseshells, like hidden, what do they call them? Like a little fake pocket flap type thing. Belt loops as well, if you did want to belt it. And they do have a matching crop blazer with this if you want it as a cohort. I just personally don't know how much wear I would get of that cropped blazer because it seemed quite cropped. Um, so I just left the blazer on this occasion, but the bottoms I got in a medium and they were $45.99. Love that fabric. Honestly, absolutely beautiful. I'm a bit concerned they might be a bit big around my waist, but we will see. As the warmer months are approaching, I did pick up a few dresses in this haul and I'm going to show you this one first because I... Again, I think it's a little bit out of my comfort zone in terms of it's a bit of a pattern, a bit different, but I just think it is beautiful. I love baby blue, cobalt blue. I think, well, I'm seen to be seeing it a lot in the shops, so I feel like it's going to be a big colour of the season. I like the high neck of this, it's kind of like a lightweight crept style type fabric, and it's got a little tiny cut out detail on either side where you can cinch in this waist part. I just think the kind of Aztec style print to this is beautiful. So yeah, this embroidered dress is in a small and it is $59.99. They class it as midi, but it is quite long, at least on me anyway. So I would actually class it more as like a maxi dress. Really, really pretty. It's got the blue detailing down the side as well. And I think this in summer would be lovely with just some flat sandals, a crossbody straw bag, just nice and simple. It's got pockets as well, which pockets on a dress, I just think are such a nice touch. So I'm a big fan of this dress. So glad I found it. I just think it's gorgeous. Next up, I went with a linen jumpsuit. I feel like a jumpsuit is such a classic, timeless item that looks, it just make. I just think it looks so put together, so elegant. And I just really like the look of a boiler suit. So when I saw this one, this one's got, it says 50% linen. So um, it feels 
like linen, but yeah, 50% linen. Got this in a medium at 55.99. Does have a tie, um, a belt that comes with it. I don't know if I would wear this belt or if I'd maybe put my own with it. Just nice and casual with flat sandals or like my Vosia pumps. It feels quite weighty again, it's got pockets. It feels like this one is more appropriate for like this time of the year as we're getting into spring because it is slightly, I say thicker fabric, it's still possibly not warm enough to wear it just on its own now. But I mean, we never know with the weather in our, our country, it can be three degrees one day, 20 degrees the next. So who knows, but yeah, I really, really like that. I got this lightweight trench in a medium. It retails for 55.99, but I paid 29.99 for it. So I thought that was a pretty good price drop. And it's a gorgeous color. So the color, honestly, what sold it to me. I love wearing greens, khakis. I just feel like with blonde hair, greens look really nice. So, well, and brunettes, but yeah, I just feel like it complements my kind of coloring. So I do like a green item. And this one I just thought would be a good like throw on over like a white dress or something. If you just want that added layer for warmth when it is still a little bit chilly out there. Um, and it does actually come with a tie for the waist as a kind of trench style. So it's like a lightweight trench. It's got the trench flap at the back. And yeah, pockets, yes. It has pockets too. Not only just with like a white dress, but maybe some like cream jeans, white t-shirt, and again, some like pump style trainers like my Vasias or Supergas. So yeah, really like that one. Next up, I got a co-ward. I got something similar to this in the past and ended up returning it. But I, since repurchased this color, because I just think it's gorgeous. I do have one dress from Zara in this color already, but it's kind of like, I would say a dressy dress. Whereas this, nearly dropped it. This is more of a co piece that could be seen as a dressy, but also very much casual as well. It's kind of like that linen fabric again. And the shirt I got in a medium at $35.99. And the wide leg bottoms, 100% linen these are. So yeah, these are 100% linen. Wide leg bottoms are $49.99 and I got those in a medium because it does have a tie waist. So I thought I'd be able to cinch it in. So yeah, together, gorgeous. As separates, also gorgeous. This, the bottoms maybe with like a basic white tee, some sunnies, again, crossbody straw bag and some sandals or trainers. And then this shirt obviously just paired with like some cream jeans or wide leg pants, just so versatile. I mean, you've got so many outfits in one co-ord. That's what I love about co-ords is you can literally just have so many looks. Now, winter, summer, whatever time of the year, I love a blazer. And some of my absolute favorite blazers are all Zara ones. So I saw this one, which is a linen blend. And it is, well, it's 59.99. They only have two sizes in this blazer, either an extra small to small or medium to large. And I do quite like an oversized fit on a blazer. So I went for the medium to large. However, I do think it's a little too big for me and I'm concerned the extra small to small will be too small. I mean, it'll probably be okay, but it's kind of a dupe for the Frankie Shop style cut where it is quite dramatically oversized anyway. Like there is real no shape to it other than just a real boxy fit. Um, I just love the blazer, I love the color, love the fabric, love everything about it apart from the fit. It's just a bit too oversized for me. Um, but yeah, I thought I would show it to you anyway because it is an absolute gorgeous, gorgeous piece that is such a staple yet again a blazer in any season for me is a win next up i'm going to stand back a little bit to show you this dress next up is this linen dress which has like a button down detail and ruched bust area and a crossover back it's nice and strappy on the back very much a summer's dress i would say this and it's that linen kind of fabric is it 100 linen it says with linen so it's part linen this one, um, but $35.99, I got it in a medium. It has a slit up the leg as well. So yeah, very much summer appropriate, this one I feel. I don't know if I love the color of it, that's the only thing. I feel like it might be one of those sort of beige stone colors that washes me out a little bit, especially when I don't have a tan. So maybe one that I would only wear when I've got a tan. This was a bit of a wild card option for me, but honestly, I love it. So. It's in a small, $35.99, but it's kind of an oversized fit. So I would say stay true to size or size down is already oversized. It's a beautiful fabric, really lightweight and kind of like that crepe style just feels like it's gonna be so comfy. 
But yeah, it's kind of a rust color striped, pinstriped shirt. So a bit different for me in that probably the, the print is the main thing that's different for me. But I was thinking this tucked into some like white je jeans or trousers and um, like quite, quite casually, like smart casual. Again, with some sandals for uh, leading into the warmer months or definitely something you could pair with like a blue jean and trainers. I just feel like it's really nice and something a bit different, something that I don't already own. It's that oversized fit, I think, as well, that I like. I like the shape of it. Even just thrown over a bikini on holiday, really nice. Next up, I got this shirt dress in this really rich chocolatey brown. Now, from the images on the model, it's a bit deceiving. It looks like they are longer sleeves that she's just kind of rolled up. However, they're not. They're kind of a short sleeve that ends at your elbow, just above your elbow, which I'm okay with, but it's just not how I imagined it would look. Beautiful, rich, chocolatey colour. It does come with its own belt if you wanted to use this belt. It's just plain and simple, same colour fabric. There's no like metal hardware on show. And it's kind of, again, like a mid length button up all the way. And I got this one in a medium. This is called the Nora dress. And yeah, 59.99, kind of on the pricier side, but I just think it looks gorgeous. Very much my color palette, this kind of rich chocolate color, I think is more wearable than black and paired with creams, straw bags, straw hats, straw sandals, my Chloe sandals. I just think the chocolate works really, really nice. My final item, yet again, another basic, is this t-shirt. And if I'm being completely honest with you in person, it's not the color I imagined it would be. I thought it would be like a really light gray mark, but it's actually more lilac-y. I don't know if that's showing up on camera as true as it is in real life, but I got it in a small, $17.99. It's got a distressed edging, which reminds me of my Nina Bing t-shirts and a kind of acid washed type look, like a very distressed look, which I personally love. I think it just makes it look really casual, feels lovely quality. And again, tucked into some jeans, blue, cream. But yeah, I did think it was gonna be more of that lighter gray color, which I thought I would pair with some of my blazers that I got. However, this lilac -y tone, I just don't think I love. So I will send this one back. But as a t-shirt, really like it. Um, and yeah, do you see what I mean? the whole lilac -y tone to it. But anyway, that is everything that I got my short but sweet Zara haul. I um, hope you have enjoyed this video. And again, just let me know, be honest, if you prefer just the Zara fashion finds or if you like me to include the home bits as well, because I do love good brows on Zara home as well. In fact, I even think I prefer Zara home to Zara fashion, who knows? Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Do give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I will try and see if this dress is still available from last year because it is really, really pretty. They had a few different kind of prints and patterns in this style. Um, and yeah, I just think it's quite a flattering cut the way that it frills out at the edges. And yeah, I'm glad to finally have it back out in use. The sun is shining, but it is still quite cold outside. But yeah, still, we're getting there. We are getting there. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. We are so close to 100,000 subscribers. It is just too close, too close. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day, whatever it is that you end up doing. Let me know, what are you doing? Let's chat in the comments. And yeah, I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.